welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys that is very special to my heart because I've been watching home tours like crazy. Christmas home tours, of course. And people's trees and their mantles and just their homes, the way they're decorating things, are just gorgeous, beautiful. So I watch these home tours and of course they're getting stuff from this new store actually I've never even heard of. It's called At Home and like Ross and places like that. Some of these stores I don't have anywhere near me. I think like the nicest home store I really have that's near me is like TJ Maxx and things like that. And I mean they're just going all out. And of course it inspires me to go all out and make beautiful Christmas in my home. But I'm like, I wonder if I can challenge myself to kind of recreate these beautiful beautiful mantles and trees and whatnot using cheap things from the Dollar Tree. So this past Sunday was the 10% off your entire purchase from the Dollar Tree so I took that opportunity and went to the Dollar Tree and just focused on my tree and I had already bought a few things from the Dollar Tree for my fireplace mantle, which was like the 15 foot um, pine I'm going to be using on my railing and my fireplace. But then I thought, you know, I could pick a few other things that I see people use and utilize for their fireplaces and whatnot that I really like. They call them picks. I've always called them sprigs. And I know Dollar Tree has a beautiful selection of floral. So this haul is my interpretation of some of these beautiful the home tours that I saw on YouTube and I challenged myself to decorate my um, fireplace mantle and the tree you see sitting behind me completely out of Dollar Tree items and I'm hoping that I can recreate that ritzy glam look for cheap so let's do this so of course one of the first things you have to have is a tree topper <laughs> Now, my theme I really thought looked really ritzy and really beautiful was the red and gold. So I'm going to go with red and gold this year. And as you can see, my tree's not all fluffed out or anything like that. My husband just simply put it up for me so that I can do some of these videos. We don't really decorate our tree or anything like that until Thanksgiving. But he put it up so at least I could have it in the background. But it's not fluffed. So if it looks terrible behind me, it's because I didn't fluff it yet. But I figured with the flock tree, as you can see behind me, it is flocked. I think the red and gold is just going to be beautiful. So that is the theme that I'm going for. So I got a gold star tree topper. And almost everything I buy, I have to take outside. I'm going to have to spray with hairspray. But this is the first part. Got to have a tree topper. I picked up some extra bows to put on the railing. We are actually putting our tree in a corner of um, the walkway that goes into our main living room where everybody kind of sits for the holidays, but it's right next to my staircase that goes upstairs. So of course I'm gonna be decorating my staircase so that it kind of pulls in with the tree. And these are the bows that I'm going to be using on my staircase that'll match the tree. Here comes some of the ornaments. OMG, look at this. This is just gorgeous. I saw this and was like, yes. It's metal on the outside and then just has this beautiful, I guess it's supposed to be like a poinsettia, but it's all gold with a big gold gem in the middle. I think these are gorgeous. And I think I picked up two or three of these. Of course, I have to have two or three of the deer. <laughs> I may only show you two, but I think I got three of everything. Like I did threes of everything except for the bulbs, but I got three of these little guys picked up different ones of this so I got the deer the tree and I believe the third one is a snowflake I just love it the red the green I love this I think this is so pretty and then in this bag I'm not gonna pull it all out but I have all of the tinsel if you will I don't know if it has a special name no it's just tinsel garland it's nine feet and I like how full it is and it has like different textures so some of it is like matte and some of it is like this textured stuff. Some of it's real thin, some of it's real thick. So I like how it had like all these like different textures and it had like all this stuff going on. And I got five, I believe I got five of these. And I'm not sure if I'm going to wrap my tree like this 
or if I'm going to take it and tuck it like into spots and bring it down from um, the star um, topper. I'm not sure exactly how I'm doing that yet. It's either going to be wrapped or brought down like ribbons um, in the tray. But I got five of those and they're in this bag. I'm not going to pull all that out. <laughs> then I got a whole bunch of the huge bulbs from the Dollar Tree. I really love these for like big anchor statement pieces. So I got this matte red and then the glittered red. I believe I got maybe six of each is what it's looking like. Six of each. And of course I'm going to be using these kind of on the lower parts of the tree. And these are what people are calling their anchor like big statement pieces. I really love the big bulbs. So I've never used, the, I mean, that's, they're huge, they're huge. I've never used this size bulbs on my tree, ever. Everything's sitting right here, ever. So this is going to be kind of new for me, but I'm really excited to try this. And I really love the way it looks. So I just got the mats and the uh, glittered. They did have beautiful gold ones. But what I thought was, if I'm going to use gold tinsel, I think a gold bulb is going to get lost in the tree. So that's why I went all red, and this bag is full of all of the red huge bulbs. Here is another really cute little ornament that I picked up. I think it's so stinking adorable. And remember now, I've made a few bulbs for my tree as well that I think are going to tie in very well with this. So I'm using all Dollar Tree items and then the few that I made, but I made them using Dollar Tree items. So I think it counts. I picked up three packs of bulbs. Of course, the smaller ones. So I got the long tube of red, and again, you get the textured. Like, these are kind of swirled. The middle ones are... I don't know what they were called. like they just have different designs on them and then the end how are glittered this one has a totally different design and then this is the only I thought four or five gold ones small might not be too bad but I may not use those I'm not sure I just feel like the gold is going to get lost in the tree since I put gold tinsel on the tree and then I picked up another pack of red I figured with the big big bold anchor bulbs and then I think this will be plenty smaller bulbs to fill up up at the top and then fill in space in between the big bulbs and then here is the picks that I picked up I'm super excited so these are adorable I've never seen them before what are they calling them they're calling them berry bouquets so with these aren't they gorgeous these nice big sprigs and they have that bright red whatever they are flower I don't know what they are I guess they're supposed to represent berries. I think they're adorable at the top. So I got four. So what my idea of these are is I'm going to stick two on this side of the star, two on this side of the star, so that you have these big sprays on the sides of the star topper. And then I got two of these, which I just love. And they're calling them another holly bouquet. So they got the holly, the holly leaves, and then the pine cones that are dipped in gold. I'm going to put them lower, one on each side, in front of all of this by the star. So this will be in the back, and then this will be in the front, kind of like that, on each side of the star topper for the top of my tree. And then... I'm going to go back because after I got all this home, I was like, you know what? I want to tie in my fireplace with my tree. I am going to go back later today and pick up more of this exact same floral. And I am actually going to put all of that kind of floral in with the 15 feet of pine that I've already picked up from the Dollar Tree to decorate my mantle with. And I think it's all going to be gorgeous. So that is all the stuff that I hauled from the Dollar Tree to decorate my tree with. And then I just want to show you this one thing because this is for a new DIY that I'm going to be working on. And with that, I picked up this adorable bag. I love it. I love the red and it's plaid. And I think it's going to go beautiful with these bows that I picked up. I think they match very, very well. And with the tree being very red, this is a statement piece that I want to put near the tree but I have to DIY it first. 
<laughs> but when I saw this, I thought this was gorgeous. So of course I'm not going to be using it as a gift bag. I'm going to turn it into something. So it was just a sweet, simple, quick Dollar Tree haul. But I wanted to show you everything that I picked up for my tree. I think I spent like $33 or something like that for all the pieces that you saw. So if I achieve this really Ritz glam look, only having to spend $33 from the Dollar Tree, I am going to be thrilled. <laughs> I know that wasn't this big fun Dollar Tree haul, but I wanted to show you everything that I got so that you'll come back to see if I achieve that ritzy, beautiful, glam Christmas that I'm trying to achieve because I watch these beautiful, gorgeous home tours on YouTube that has totally inspired me to try something new, but I want to challenge myself with it and see if I can achieve that same kind of feel and look using very cheap things from the Dollar Tree. And even though they're from the Dollar Tree, I'm telling you, like, some of these things, they don't look cheap to me at all. I mean, this is a gorgeous statement piece. These, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And I know, like, those big bulbs, yes, I had to pay a dollar piece for them, but I've seen them in other places where, like, one bulb is, like, four or five dollars. And of course you can get big containers full for like $24.99, but I only paid $8 for the bulbs that I wanted because that's, just, I think I bought eight, if I remember correctly, I bought eight. So I only paid for what I wanted, <laughs> which I think is great. And I don't think they look very much different than the ones that you would get, say, from Ross or a Christmas store this time of year. But we'll see. We'll see what the tree looks like when I put it together. So stay tuned because now that I have it all, my husband put the tree up, I can fluff and get busy decorating. And I don't worry, I'm going to film it all and show you what my Dollar Tree glam... I feel like those words just don't go together, but I'm going to try to make that work. Dollar Tree Glam Tree looks like, so stay tuned for that video. If you'd like to see that video and you're not subscribed to my channel, right now is a great time. I have lots of DIYs still coming, decorating my tree, vlogs, all kinds of fun stuff for the holiday season. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks so much for coming by and saying hello today and watching my Dollar Tree haul. I'm so looking forward. Like, I just cannot wait to see what this tree looks like. Can you? <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Be blessed. Always do what you love. Talk to you soon. Bye.